there. Thanks for joining us on Philip Capital Market Watch. I'm Jeremy Fru from Philip Futures. Today I'll be sharing on what lies in store for the USD, US index Dow Jones, and the most commonly traded commodity, gold. I will be sharing what fundamentals lie ahead, as well as key technical levels to look out for in the coming weeks. When trading with Philip Futures, you will gain access to a large range of tools and personalized services that will benefit your trading and increase your confidence in placing potentially successful trades. The USD reverses out of a significant downtrend after the Fed turned hawkish in its last meeting in June. The Fed signaled two possible rate hikes in 2023, with talks about tapering their quantitative easing QE program. With the hawkish tilt from the Fed, we could see continued buying momentum from the USD in Q3. A strengthening USD would add more pressure on the major FX pairs. With vaccinations around the globe picking up and strong US economic data confirming a recovering US economy, US markets are recovering and I'm expecting continued buying momentum for the US dollar as well as for US equities. The US Dow Jones Index reached an all-time high of 35,000 in May 2021 when markets cheered for the US federal monetary stimulus intended to boost the US economy. It soon saw some sell-off shortly after as the monetary stimulus optimism soon turned into inflation concerns. Markets soon bounced back before another sell-off last month in June after the Fed turned hawkish, signaling two rate hike and tapering of its QE program. The tapering of its QE program is intended to boost the economy, accompanied with interest rate hikes that fundamentally do not bode well for equities. Since then, equities have recovered as markets soon turned risk on as vaccinations worldwide are progressing steadily. Equities were also boosted by Biden's approval of his $579 billion infrastructure deal, adding additional infrastructure for the country and boosting equities. On a technical note, as long as the index holds the 34,000 level, I see another run to test its all-time high of 35,000 in the very near future. There is also a strong possibility of a move to carve a new all-time high as vaccinations progress. As more citizens are vaccinated, it creates the opportunity for businesses to reopen and economic activity to pick up again. This might be the catalyst to send US equities even higher. If not, we could just see some sideways movement from, for the index between the 33,000 to 35,000 level. The probability of the index dropping back to the 30,000 level does not seem likely. Overall, I'm bullish on the index and investors should look for good buying opportunities on the dips around the 34,000 support, with the first target being 35,000, with anticipation for a move beyond that as well. Gold has seen a significant downtrend since mid-2020, when the US dollar surged due to the COVID-19 pandemic, with investors believing in cash is king. The safe haven commodity was further pressured by a risk on market sentiment following the pandemic, with investors sh shifting into risky assets such as equities or risk on currencies such as the euro or the British pound, which dampened the demand for the safe haven commodity. Gold subsequently rebounded off the low of 1680, the base of the early 2020 breakout, avoiding a fall back to pre-breakout levels of 1500, with a run to 1900. It soon hit stiff resistance at 1900, resulting in prices dropping back down to the low of 1750. The steady hole of the 1750 level resisted a fall back down to 1680. Fundamentally looking bullish, gold held ground against a stronger dollar in June and now edges higher towards the 1800 level. I think a breakout is imminent and if gold manages to break and stay above the 1800 level, we could see another move to 1900 again. A breakdown to the 2021 low of 1680 seems unlikely for now, and as long as gold remains above the 1750 support, a move to 1800 seems realistic with a continued move to 1900 from there. Investors should look for good buying opportunities anywhere around the 1750 support or buying the breakout past the 1800 level as we could see continued buying momentum from 1800 to 1900. That's all for Philip Capital's Market Watch. Do remember to like and follow us on social media and subscribe to us on YouTube. Thank you.